the permission of the dais, I want to go in closer to the people. <laughs> So from that place I could see your faces, whether you are receiving the input rightly or what the address is. So I wanted to connect with you better. So when the topic of innovation which is closer to my heart, uh, I just narrated one simple story. I was traveling to two years back to a Panama Canal, uh, somewhere between North America and South America. And you all must be knowing that you have to lift the ship, there are gates available and then Ship, uh, ship get lifted and ship get brought down on that Panama Canal. So I asked somebody why the ship is lifted and or why these gates are required. Because if it's a canal, there's no need of uh, this thing to happen because it's a, just a canal which connecting the north side, uh, east side and the west side. The answer was this, the level may be different, that's why they have to do it. The next question comes in, we in all know in the world the sea levels are constant. We measure everything around sea level, so sea level cannot be different from Arabian Sea or a Bay of Bengal, it has to be constant across the world and that's where it's connected. So why it is required? Anybody have a guess? Then I ask further question, what is the need of it? Sometimes what happens when they are connecting after success of Suez Canal, they are connecting Panama Canal, they reached 50% of the place by then they are connecting the canal because it will save almost like 2,000 km, 3,000 km distance to travel but they stuck at some place where they couldn't dig it further because the mountains were so strong that dynamite at that time was not enough strong in 1890s which can break those mountains. Now 80% project is finished but for 20% project they are not able to finish the project. So huge amount of money was spent between 1880 to 1895 and then they stuck after that time. So, the, so everything was going right. Now this mountain is there and the ship has to go through, what will happen? There was some idea came suddenly that why can't we use buoyancy of water to lift the ship? Can we make the ship crossing the hillock? It was amazing to see a ship can be lifted up and can be brought down. So actually what happens in Panama Canal, ship get lifted three times and brought three times. So they created artificial lake and each time they fill up the tank. That's why the ship's size has been defined at that point in time is 1000 feet by 100 feet ship happens after that. So innovation was they connected the two pieces of buoyancy and lifting the ship and crossing the ship over there. So this is a small story of innovation not in technology space but in our day-to-day -day life. So what is innovation fundamentally and why innovation? Why innovation we all know it helps us, it simplify our life. So innovation is fundamentally linked to simplification. So if I look at innovation, it simplifies the human life, travel from one distance to second distance it simplifies. So that's where why innovation? Then you say what innovation? As Professor uh, Mr. Ramdas has articulated, the innovation is not creativity. Creativity is idea and an idea is put into action, it creates innovation. There could be invention, there could be discovery. Then invention and discovery put to action, then it becomes innovation. If you look at it, a network, when was the network you know, invented? Network was invented sometime in 1969. The first network was invented in 1969. And when the mail system came in picture, sometime in 1990, 1985, it took 16 years for invention to get translated into a real usable thing which is a mail system. So there are two circles of influence was there, one is network which was connected, connecting the network and the second thing which was there was postal system that you need to convey the message but to connect the two and convert into mail was sometime in 1985 and then this is a invention then there is a innovation happen in reaching to the people to simplify their life then the third innovation happened when hotmail came in say mail is free that is a business innovation so there is a technology innovation of network there is a mail innovation of simplifying the human life and then when hotmail came in it's a business innovation. So innovation can be of multiple types starting from 
invention of the technology, application of technology, and business te in innovation. So, Mr. Mirabha has covered a lot of it around the business innovation side, application side, pricing side, commercial side, model side. So, so that is one level of innovation. Second level of innovation happens is, is it a prerogative of a larger companies to innovate? Norm normally, we link innovation to a larger space. Apple did innovation, Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Telecom, GSM, CDMA. What is the role I have to play in innovation as an individual? Who are sitting in this room, do I have a role to play in innovation or is it I have to always depend on some companies where I can flourish the innovation? I would say innovation has three levels of innovation. Level one of innovation is around which impacts millions of people. Which could be something like iPod, iPhone, uh, CDMA, GSM. These are the millions of the people which impacts. The second one of innovation could be around which impacts a community. A community of city of Madras, a city of Tamil Nadu, state of Tamil Nadu, a country specifically, or a neighborhood of particular DR community or a Mailapur community, or a particular company which gets impacted by the innovation. And third is small group innovation, which I can do it in my family, I can do it in a system around me. A simple innovation in South Indian food, I always give example, is South Indian food is a designer food. Now you say, how the South Indian food is a designer food? If you look at it, South Indian food, what is the adversity? Adversity is heat. Every, if you don't have a refrigerator around you, any food which you prepare will get lost or destroy within 8 to 10 hours of the fermentation. If fermentation is a fundamental adversity, where food chain will have a lot of wastage because of food not being preserved, can you convert that fermentation as your ingredient for constructing a food? Now this is the first level of innovation that the dough over here is based on dosa, idli, vada, everything is based on fermentation as a basic ingredient. And the more the fermentation is, the different kind of recipes are designed around it. Then you go to the next level of innovation. We all talk about balanced food, balanced diet. We have X amount of protein, Y amount of carbohydrates. These are two ingredients for our necessity for the body. They put one third, two third mixture in the beginning itself. Second level innovation. You mix both of them and eat together. Like in North Indian food, you have dal separately and roti separately. You don't know whether the ratios are right or wrong. But in South Indian food, both the ratios goes perfect into the whole system. You have a sambar and all of vegetables are there. You don't know which vegetable is going there. So you can create any recipes. You have a component model design, you have a rice and you can create 10 types of rice, whether tamarind rice, coconut rice, all that kind of rice. The component modeling, which we talk in computer today, has come from sometime 2000 years back in Tamil Nadu, well ahead of anywhere in the world. It's a full system, a zero waste system. When we talk about innovation, we say zero waste system, simplification. No food get the dough which is there, it can continue to live for that life till it finishes off with the home. The vegetable, even, even if you have one, one bindi, one bangan, you can put in sambar and no wastage on the vegetable side. Child doesn't know what he is eating. He will not have his uh, uh, issues that I don't eat, yeah, and I don't eat this particular element. So these are all the innovation which happens in our day-to-day -day life which we don't realize. Somebody does it. Some, some, some housewife must, might have done it or some people might have done it in the community for which we are not rewarding like Steve Jobs are getting rewarded for saying the innovation is happening. And similar innovation must be happening in Liba, in your family around, your mother must have done it, your sister must have done it, your father must have done it, which you have never appreciated and recognized in your system. Your classmate must have done it. I think recognizing the innovation itself is an important element in the culture formation. We normally don't recognize it, we only recognize when it has a commercial value attached to it. So, innovation in the modern world is connected to the commercial value realization in terms of profit rather than the benefit or simplification of life which happens in day-to-day -day life which is there. And that's why we don't promote those kind of habits in our environment from the childhood to the college to the environment in the company because we don't respect, appreciate those innovation which happens in a corporate world around the day-to-day -day working. Unless we attach profit line to 
that particular thing. So in employee, in corporate, unless you say you create a product which can go and sell to the marketplace and realize the revenue for that innovation, I don't recognize the innovation. And there are separate pieces of innovation. There is a product which somebody can design in a company, which will go to the market as a marketing function. Acceptance of that innovation to the marketplace is a communication function of the marketing department, whether how right emphasis can be given or what kind of pricing can be done. That is a commercial innovation. So it is not necessary a product innovation can lead to success in the marketplace because if it is not supported by the right price points and right commercial models and right sales team in the front of it, it may not be successful. But we recognize only when it is successful. When we say Apple is a successful model of iPod, because it was that right price, right branding, right dollar will spend to reach out to the marketplace, right communication was done. We recognize as innovation, but there may be a lot of innovation which might have happened in India in a lot of uh, tablet PCs and a lot of net PCs which have been designed in less than $100, but since they didn't have a ability to go to the marketplace, they didn't have funding of $100 million to do a marketing budget behind it or right value proposition to the customer, that didn't reach to the world marketplace and the world doesn't recognize that as innovation. So we need to break down the innovation into separate pieces. 